Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we've got some news topics we want to go through. Let's just get straight into it. And we'll start off with the first topic that is coming from Fabrizio Romano and he says Chelsea have approached Benfica for Enzo Fernandez. One week ago but no changes. Rui Costa has been very clear again. 120 million or nothing. No fresh proposal made as things stand and no new contacts with Benfica. So we've got this, I've also got another tweet from Ben Jacobs who says Still no indication at Chelsea's end they plan to trigger Enzo Fernandez's release clause. Chelsea have been very clear throughout January this is an approach that they are very reluctant to take. So for some people that's going to be massive disappointment in the, you know, it looks like Enzo Fernandez isn't going to leave unless we cough up 120 million euros which is about 106 million pounds I believe. It's a lot of money. And for Chelsea to go and spend that much on one player, whilst I do agree he is a brilliant player, I think that Chelsea need to be wiser. 106 million up run all in one bulk is going to cause problems for us financially. Um, FFP wise and such, 120 million euros up front is not a good look for Chelsea and does cause problems. Hence why we're handing out these crazy contracts for like seven and eight years. It's to to sort of spread it across that time period so for me as much of a disappointment as it is that it doesn't look like Enzo Fernandez will be joining Chelsea because I really don't think Benfica will change their stance I think it's going to be like they say 106 million pounds or nothing um, I think Chelsea can wait but there is also news you know we could we could try getting him in the summer if that doesn't work and it's still 120 million then there's other options out there yes he's a good player yes he's young but i'm sure chelsea could find other options you know we've got a good department to try and find these players but the other news coming through again the, the source on this one not as strong here you've got Fabrizio romano ben jacobs two very reliable chelsea journalists this one coming in from tuto mercato web as you can see down here and it says Chelsea have now submitted a £49 million bid for a player Conde has asked Hotman to sign for him. Uh, that player, as you can see pictured, is um, Alexis McAllister. And you can see here it's um, it sounds like maybe um, Tottenham were trying to go and get him. Of course, it says that you know uh, Antonio, Antonio Conte wanted him. L apparently, if this is to be believed, Chelsea have gone in and put a £49 million bid in. Mm, Similar-ish kind of play, but when Chelsea are desperately lacking a defensive midfielder, I do think we could use you know a more attacking type like McAllister. Um, but I think defensive midfield is an area we're very very weak on. Let's take a look at him. 24 years old, of course, plays for Brighton, so a lot of us will have seen football of him. Right footed, plays in the midfield, strengths are long balls and passing. You can see he plays in the central midfield here as well as an attacking midfielder. Of course, Brighton doing really well this season, so there's no surprise that Chelsea are having a look at him. Uh, you can see on the left-hand side, just below my name here, 17 appearances, 5 goals in that time. Uh, I don't think he's got any assists, no, but he has created one big chance, as you can see highlighted down there. Um, passing numbers are all good, I'll pop those below me again. In his own half is good, uh, very strong in his own half, realistically. Long ball, 69%, that's pretty good ratio for, you know, spreading those balls out wide like he does. Um, uh, 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 Brighton um, and then you can see further down below you know the tackling numbers down here again they're okay you know 2.7 tackles a game is actually okay double pass per game 1.2 so he's not often getting beat good um, few interceptions per game and overall generally pretty good you know he could do a bit of the defensive side and of course contributes in the attack five goals from midfield is, is more than you know Jorginho is capable of Kante is capable of Kovacic is capable of and that's even when you know some of these players are fit Kovacic having his own issues recently Kante not playing for like whatever it is like a year for Chelsea so I think he'd be a good signing 49 million pounds isn't a crazy amount you know he's still young he's uh, 24 years old he can easily go on to 34 plus um, so you know 49 million pounds is a good investment if he does well at Chelsea there's always the opportunity to sell him on not that we just tend to sell players for much profit these days but it certainly is possible and something that the new owners I'm sure will try to you know change in that Chelsea we often let players go for less than what we paid for them and, and that's um, that's rarely a good thing and something that you can't always sustain 
Um, looking at his average ratings for the season here on the left hand side, you see a 7.11 average rating across the entire season. Very strong, of course, played in the World Cup, had a pretty strong performance out there, and in the Premier League has also done well. Um, this could be another case of Brighton just buying someone cheap, developing them for a few years, and then, you know, off they go after three, four years selling for ridiculous money. 8 million euros is what they spent on him and if this is to be believed Chelsea have just thrown down 55 so Brighton again doing what they do best but after we took you know Graham Potter some of their staff maybe that's something Chelsea will be able to do um, in the future but it's an exciting one if this is to be believed again you know it's weird that an Italian uh, will take a look at the article if we translate this um you know, it's weird that Chelsea news is coming from an Italian outlet before it's coming, you know, from Ben Jacobs, from Fabrizio Romano, all these sort of types. So we'll see if there's anything to be believed. Maybe this is all a load of rubbish, so take it with a pinch of salt and we'll see where it leads. But let's go on to the next topic. And we have club have reached agreement with Chelsea for Blues players transfer meeting tomorrow for contract talks. And this is an outgoing and it's saying that Bakayoko could finally be on his way out of Chelsea. This is a Turkish reporter um, saying that uh, the club here is um, reportedly about to have a meeting. They've agreed um, and they've reached agreement for the transfer, likely with Chelsea that is. And they'll meet with the player tomorrow in order to set out the ter uh, terms of the contract. So I doubt he's going to go for much. This is the tweet uh, translated. You can read it there. I doubt Bakayoko is really going to go for much. Let's be real. Um, everyone knows that his time at Chelsea has been lackluster, to put it lightly. He's um, been on loan at you know Milan and such. Um, and as far as I'm aware, you know they're not crazy impressed with him. He's not a player that has ever lived up to the hype that was placed on him by, you know, Chelsea fans when we were first buying him. I remember there was so much talk about how good he'd be because he's big, he's physical, um, but his time being a Chelsea player, because he's basically been on loan his whole career here, uh, looks like it's at an end because the guy unfortunately couldn't hack it at this level. It might be interesting one day to find out why, whether it was mental, if he couldn't cope with the physicality, the speed, whatever it might be, but man, he just he looked like he lost all confidence playing in a Chelsea shirt. So that's good news that maybe that'll be one player off the books. I'm sure that's something that the new owners will look to address. Whilst they're bringing in all these players, they're going to have to thin the squad out somehow and getting ready, you know, the sort of, over previous years, the Danny Drinkwaters, the Baki Yokos, these sort of guys, get them off the books, even if it's going to cost us a little bit or we're going to take a big loss on the transfer. It's better to just get them out of the club, realistically. But... That is going to be the end of the video guys, if you did enjoy please be sure to leave a like on it, hit subscribe so you never miss a future video, and I'll see you on the next one, goodbye.